already in position. All playing in position for the smoke isn't going to actually block them off. But let's see, can they connect the shots? That's the main thing. Already the Glock opens it up from Ami. The coach actually doing a decent job to start it off. But look at Refresh. Playing from quad, running low on ammo. But for now, Yugi also still alive, giving him some help. Eventually, trades come in. And now it is a 2v2 config from Banana. Lines up the shots, eventually takes down Hobbit and drops the bomb. And with that, it's left all on Tawaxic now. One on two. We'll retrieve the bomb at least, but it's going to be tough to get planted. 20 seconds or just over that remaining, rather. Going to go straight for the stick. Okay, peak not coming in from CT, being cautious in case it was a fake. Tawaxic gets the bomb down, and now can he find the kills is the question again. No defuse kiss, so time could eventually become an issue. But I don't know if that's going to actually happen. But never mind. Moxie gets the first kill. Comes out for the headshot on the... Just trying to find that control in towards apartments. And does end up falling. Didn't give a weapon over, I don't believe. But look at this. The commitment towards B. Refresh with a UMP. Also from construction. It was snappy. But he gets dealt with quickly. Angel finds a second on the Mac 10. But that bomb site is indeed going to be opened up. The bomb plant should be found with ease. You would imagine at this point that Molotov stopping config from doing anything. To actually deny it. Smoke towards Banana, given a, a chance for the retake to come in. Again, they do not have a defuse kit, so that's going to make things really difficult. Smoke actually goes down on the bomb as well, but can they get to the bomb is the question. It doesn't seem like it's going to be allowed. Angel found a third before eventually falling. Box for the AK. Nice kill from Ami. Mac 10 up against the Cavalierless opponent. Going to be quite easy for that to take the players down. As I said, of course, Hobbit as well having one, so a chance for Ami and Hobbit to build up money. You'd imagine they'll be probably be sent in first. Uh, you can see that is the case. Over towards B, Hobbit going to be leading the charge, clearing out all the corners, and making sure these pistols are not going to get a chance to try and perhaps steal a rifle away. Refresh in towards construction. Has that P250 upgraded? Oh, I was going to say maybe he could get something, but never mind. Trying to hide in the smoke didn't work out. As the kills continue to go in favor of Hellraiser, is a clean anti-eco, it seems. On the occasion, Snappy remain in a position where he wasn't spotted immediately, but Woxic just a little too quick on the AK, takes him down, and Snappy should be following to the grave quite soon. Is there a banana? But um, a one-for-one -one trade in that position not really being enough for him, in all honesty, so it does remain in a four-on-three for Hellraisers. They get some upgrades. Hobbit going to go off at a Mac 10 towards the AK. As we see, a minute and 20 seconds remaining still, meaning Hellraisers do not have to force themselves into one of these bomb sites quite yet. Gonna be taking their time. Gonna see if they can force someone to peek and maybe give them another opening in their favor before they actually begin to push forward into the crosshairs. There we go, Snappy, lone defender on B. Does find that opening kill a little bit segregated on the push right here. Too separated, I was going to say, for the trades to be found. But luckily enough, it is eventually brought in by Yisip. Taking down Snappy. And in the process of Chris taking control of the B-bomb site. And it looks like Hellraisers will be able to pick up this opening gun round. As Optic do struggle. M4 and not potentially to, be, potentially to at least be saved over. But Hellraisers are taking these rounds extremely cleanly. They're building up a great economy. Taking a 4-0 lead already on the T-side of Inferno. And uh, potentially off the back of that, may be able to bring it up to 5 0. Looks like the hit is going to go towards a. Three defenders in position. A smoke being put down. A pretty great timing right there to actually delay that push from Balcony. Making things quite difficult here for Hellraisers. They still have utility, so I think they're just going to wait for that smoke to go. And uh, there is not much left for Optics, so Hellraisers definitely do still have a chance here to flash if they can be effective with them. This could get tough for Optic, but here we go. Hobbit leading the charge. Coming out first. Gets taken down immediately by Config. Cajun able to actually chime in as well and drop at me. As the kills continue to go in favor of Optic, a sea of blue fills the kill feed. As Woxic is left alone in a position where he just is going to try and run away, rather, it seems. 
Looking right into the crosshair is Angel. You know, he shuts him down on the up, and the smoke's also being put in place. Delaying this push from Hellraiser is making things very difficult. Rotation's coming in already, and Hellraiser still yet to actually move forward. Only doing so now, as they need to get these kills relatively quickly. Time running low, the peak comes in from Refresh. Only finds the one headshot. The trades continue to go in favor of Optic for now. Yugi needs to be careful. If he goes down, they could be in trouble. But he connects it and takes the bomb under his control now. Ten seconds for Ami to coach, to stand in her for Hellraisers. Has to step it up and clutch it out. And I don't know if that's going to be allowed. Trying to stick the bomb. They know the time is so low. But he actually does get it down. Tagged up though. Can he force the 1v1 against either of these players? Push now coming in. Yugi, USP in hand. No, he tagged them. Ooh, catches the diamond just as the smoke is thrown out from Angel, but actually is it? Through the smoke, they're able to actually return the frag himself. Emerged from Boiler, catching config off guard. A one for one actually going to be something that Hellraisers are happy with here on the T side. It does tend to favor the T's. Molotov to stop that push from Balcony. And with just over 40 seconds remaining now, Hellraisers, they need to get going soon. Again, Optic, they've been doing a good job for these last two rounds now of using that utility to really delay the push and allow for rotations, etc. to be called in. Cajun. He finds the first bit of contact, does plenty of damage on the Ami. With 25 seconds now, Hellraiser's really beginning to work against the clock at this point. They're going to need to find these kills very quickly. Try and get that bomb down, and there we go. Issa gets one. Yogi on the Opto, he's going to step it up. Cajun and Refresh chime in as well. And the kills are split across the board for Optic. It's only Woxic who remains with 10 seconds. And I don't think they'll be very upset about that. They did actually drop the AK of Woxic in the process of doing so. Didn't decide to try and control it though, so it should be picked up, I believe. Yeah, an MP9 and an AK picked up, so not too bad. Hellraiser still have a chance to try and get some damage in here. They want to just try and keep the economy modest for Optic. But, um... It's, it's not going to be easy by any means. Again, good utility still left in the hands of Optic. That nade, not doing much. Hobbit just about able to actually make it back around the corner. Ooh, nice shot for Missa. Okay, he actually does have Kevlar, as does Hobbit, so maybe this is doable. There's only going to be the two players towards A. I was going to say Cajun to do the main defense. Okay, I, I can change it. I can change it if people don't like it. But I'll, I'll, I'll have to do it after this map, in that case. It's what I play with, and again, I did just forget to change it, and people weren't really complaining. It was, it was talked about a couple times. I like it though. If, if it's still, if it's in well, rather with the the rest of the colors. But here we go. Hellraiser's now a man disadvantage, just grouping up outside of B. Going to be going for a quick hit and hoping that they will find success. Molotov towards Dark, smoke on CT. Of course, as I said, Optic's been doing a good job of saving their own utility. They have a Molotov to put down. They have flashes to delay this push even further. As this is getting tough for Hellraiser's just been slowed down so massively. Config making the play only finds one sadly. But again, time getting low. 11 seconds remaining. A two on three. Woxic just gonna have to stick that bomb plant and hope he won't get taken down. But he falls. That's the round over and done with. Nothing can be done for Hobbit here. Dude oh, needs being showed over towards Banana. Or shown over towards Banana rather. we go. They're actually going to just go and try and go straight into B. Again, only have the rifle, mostly pistols in their possession. It is going to be tough. As you can see, it doesn't start off well. Flank from Angel. I thought he was going to actually get that kill on Yugi, but it works out better. Hobbit going to find the initial. Refresh then still has no idea that Angel was in construction. And he's going to go ahead and find two quick kills. The CZ then trades it up to the op. And suddenly it is a two versus two. A good chance for Hellraiser's in this round right now as it sits pretty equal overall. Bomb plant coming in. That nade, though. Some good damage being connected. And a Molotov towards Quad may actually force Hobbit out into the open, but it doesn't matter. Angel on the up continues to frag. One versus one. Cajun trying to save the day, though. Does the damage. Can he close it out is the question. Molotov on the bomb to try and run the time down. Smoke put in the place so that he can maybe try and go to it, but he's actually just going to... This is, of course, a very crucial gun round right here for Hellraisers. Oh, Ami actually gets the opening kill on Yogi. There we go. Opens things up. The coach shown that he's capable of standing his ground against Optic currently. Did a decent job overall. Gets actually gets caught with a Molotov there in his hand as he tried to toss that down to stop the peak. 
Diamond being a little bit unfortunate, but as we can see, Hellraiser is now going to commit straight to the A bomb site. That Molotov doing a good job at actually separating these players from each other, but it doesn't matter because they're winning every single aim duel. As pretty quickly the round seeming ha seemingly having just barely begun already seems to be over. Refresh left to save. It will be a buy in this next round from Optic as long as Refresh saves that M4. He can drop it to config. But they're going to invest pretty much everything in into this upcoming round. So it's definitely not ideal. And even then they're not going to have great money because they're only getting $1,400 of course. Meaning round now. Three rifles, a UMP and a Deagle. Barely any utility. This is a round they need to pick up. And again, Ami, he's been in that position pretty much every round. So at this point, Optic know that it is a potentially a kill that they can find the majority of the time. And Angel trying to make a play creep into the smoke is going to gift himself over, gift himself over to Yugi Rider. So not looking good in this round for Hellraisers. They themselves looking like they may get reset pretty quickly. Thankfully, winning that previous round so clean while all five players alive means they do have money for another buy. But ideally, they would have wanted this round win. Let's see, Hobbit and Issa, can they at least make it a costly? Can they drop some weapons is the question. Cajun playing up close in this corner. Will Hobbit check it? Not immediately, actually, as he does take the fight towards Yugi and win it. But of course, an easy trade for Cajun drops the bomb. All on Issa now. One versus four, there's not really too much that you can do in this position. For v5 optic they may want to consider making a play somewhere and just as i said i actually see config tempted to push on b they expect a flash to be thrown in yeah that's exactly what happens but config a little bit fortunate there he didn't step forward would have went into the spray most likely coming in from the ak nice nice kill being found right there by yugi they're taking down ami lurking towards a again but as we can see the push is getting prepared to come in towards b are they going to be successful is the question snappy the flash allows for him to peek and take a quick headshot towards hobbit one more player still on the actual bomb site as well. That was config, but he's not able to get much done. Instantly goes down. And a quick headshot from Woxic onto Cajun B. Suddenly opens things up. A seconds. They need to get this bomb down ASAP to spam. Will it be successful? No. Snappy solo on health. That his tracers are spot noticeable on the radar. That was not the nade that they were aiming for. Actually does a bit of damage onto Woxic and Angel. See, what's the plan for Hellraisers? They still have well over a minute, so they don't really have to commit at this point. They can take their time to come to a decision. And it looks like they may bring it back around towards A. Just leaving Woxic for now, selling a little bit of a fake towards B. Config though in this auto shot. We're going to see him with more opportunities now. Or maybe we won't. That smoke going down does scare Hellraisers off for now. How did this get into pit? I took a sip of water for a second. The second I looked back, he was in pit. Didn't get a kill somehow. I saw a bit of an awkward spray. But that amount of advantage in place for Optic now. Two players on the actual bomb site to try hold this down. Config still alive with the auto shot. He, this is going to be a great weapon for this position, but he swings wide and does go down. But look at this. The trades, they continue to come in. Optic retained the man advantage as it is. Only Hobbit left to clutch out a 1v2. And it's not going to happen. It takes a lot of damage as well. So even with this man advantage, it's still around. That is going to be tough for Hellraisers to try and close out. So it looks like they might again favor towards A. Not having the banana control, it is definitely understandable that they're going to try and do so. But the problem is they also don't have this mid control. And you can see Yugi... He wants to keep it over in favor of Optic. Already finding two quick kills. A flash to try and stop the push from coming in. To rush him down. And actually does manage to get out of the corner as well and stay alive. Big kills being found. Still a couple low HP players. Kills continuing to go in favor of Optic. And this looks like they should indeed be picking up this ninth round on the CT side. Unless a little bit of a, a miracle has pulled off here by the remaining two players being Woxic and Ami. In this case, here we go. Commitment seemingly going to come towards A pretty quickly in this round right now. Ooh, 
Okay, she just throws step and side to side, finds the opening headshot. One trade from Ami, but that's all that's allowed. The A bomb site quickly falling under the control of Optic. I'm going to be planted and config in a perfect position to cut off that rotation. Will do so successfully. Hobbit left all alone now. Not sure if there's much he can do. Chicken running past him. Oh, there's another one. All the chickens uh, running away had to have taken an eco, so they have decided to just force up into this one. CZ's mostly across the board. A UMP for Ami. Oh, and a lot of damage going in their favor. A nice nade towards Snappy. What is happening there? I mean, I think it was because of the Molotov. Maybe that makes sense. Like, but he was just kind of like standing in front of Woxic. That eventually led to the death of both players. But one trade had at least, at least been found, rather. But as we can see, the A-bomb site now going to be under attack. The pistol's going to struggle as they do decide to try and push forward. Issa from behind. He can just line them all up. They have no idea. Gets one and a dink. But sadly for Hellraiser's optic, they have gone ahead and taken over control of that bomb site. I it should be a pretty easy round. They could maybe still get a couple of kills out of it though, but Refresh gonna pop up from the other pass. Mo's down two. Assistance occasion B being found as well as he also takes a couple for himself. And that leaves only Issa remaining now. Deagle in his hands. Can he maybe find a couple of kills? It's uh, it's possible. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. His position now being known as he does get spotted. And against that Mac 10 without Kevlar, aim punch of course gonna be an issue. He does probably will come towards A eventually. Could be a fake, but for now, it seems like they do want to commit. They are going to begin to go forward. Short on the apartments and see if they're going to be effective. Cage to get the opening kill. Refresh going to be able to shut down actually two quick kills from the balcony. Ami and Issa going to be dropped. And instantly, you can see that Hobbit and Angel realize there's very little chance for them in this round to actually pull off the retake. 2v5, definitely not, not worthwhile. Going to just try and save those two rifles. And by doing so, they should actually be able to pull out a buy. They have the full loss bonus at $3,400 after losing uh, five in a row now. So we should see them, I'd imagine, buy up. That's as long as they can save both weapons, of course. So let's see, because right now, Config has a chance and does actually drop Angel. Big, the big game. Oh, yeah, we're... Um kills actually They're this time being traded back by optic how does yugi get both of those somehow goes in his favor snappy does check the back corner of the bomb site and with that a 14th round indeed going to be found for optic hobbit seems to be still rotating in towards a but i don't think that's worthwhile he'd be better off just trying to save at this point in all honesty He does end up actually going down, so strange that he hangs around. That off would have been... Go ahead and take the beak. That was actually really nice. Had his teammate throw that flash from uh, over from in Boiler down the steps, and it flashed perfectly to actually blind up Cajun, so good work early on. Hellraiser, they grab a man advantage, and Angel on Banana finding plenty of success. A double kill comes in, a 5-on-2 suddenly in play. As into this first gun round, Hellraisers, they do indeed look pretty solid here to start things off. Problem is already with how many rounds they have given up, it's gonna be it's gonna have to be pretty much a flawless CT side throughout if they wanna make this happen. Actually give themselves a chance to try and come back into it. Plenty of money of course for optics, so they can try and go for this. Get some kills, keep the economy low. Oh, that was a quick headshot from Snappy. The fact that he even was able to find that one before Woxic took him down from behind was a little bit ridiculous, but it's okay. The one for one trade still going to keep things heavily in favor of being able to help out anyone else. Actually, impressive stance though from the CT side. Snappy, a nice trade there towards Woxic, and a flick around to take down Ami. Suddenly a four on three now. If this reset comes in, Hellraisers are in a lot of trouble. They cannot afford to lose this round. And it looks like it's going to happen. Only is on the bomb site. Gets. It's going to be difficult for them to try and actually get this done. Boxit gets one there. He's been pretty much shut down. Eventually the one trade comes in. But as we can see, still of course heavily favoring Hellraisers. The bomb also yet to be planted. Not sure what's going on. The uh, auto director just wasn't work when I tried to press the buttons to swap to certain players. It was bringing up the chat. Very strange. But yeah, occasion and refreshing and pushing into B. 
Two players in position to try and hold it down. Angel takes an aggressive peek, which could be very dangerous. It does fall back for now. A boost coming into the place for Cobbett means that he can even just find one kill and fall off. The round pretty much confirmed in their favor. Here we go. Not gonna happen. Cajun. Oh my god, no. This is working out for Optic somehow. They brought it back to the 2v2. They spot out Issa in the CT spawn. The kills are coming in as it's all on the refresh up against Ami. The coach has to save the day. It's been spotted. The bomb being tapped. Not sticking a refresh. Needs to get this down as the push comes in. Will he get the gun out in time is the question. Two bullets pretty much need to be connected or one of it.